Alright, this video's goal is to guide new players toward reaching the end game in an objective manner. Think about it as a definitive game plan if you're going to start the game now. So first, I already made a new player's guide here. If you want to get the full detailed explanation about the starter team, you can just check that one out as I'm going to just explain it briefly in this video. But anyways, the first step that we're going to go here is to choose your first starter team. In here, you will be facing two decisions between Isabel team and a Claris team. These are the two starter units that you want to roll for, but a warning for you, rolling for way too much as in doing a bulk rerolls might result in IP ban. So please be careful about that as I personally don't recommend you to reroll for way too much as it will kill the joy and burn you in the process. Anyways, if you are lucky enough to get either of them on your first 10 pool on the regular banner, then the route you'll be taking here will be far east slightly. To make it short, this is the tire list for you who just want to start the game. This tire list is made based on the regular banner pool. And a quick disclaimer here, this tire list is solely made to make it easier for new players to map the units. Hence why if your favorite units are not in the list, means we need to let the new players learn about the game first, okay? But anyways, Isabel is a tier 0 unit whereas Claris is a tier 1 unit. The reason being is that Isabel is an extremely broken AoE debuffer slash dispeller which will help your beginner progression by a lot as many contents needed this. Next, Claris is a buffer and an AP pusher. She's great but there is another option or subs for her. The name is Alice. So you can think of Claris as a luxury. Now, depending on who you get here, more or less your starter team will look like this. Remember that you will also have your one-time only unlimited beginner pools that will guarantee you a 1-5 star unit. Next, we're currently having a limited banner going for Factor Neo. This will be your next destination. Note that some limited banner like this has a PT of 90, whereas other banners such as Elite and regular banners have 200 as the PT. So planning your resources properly is a necessary process. But anyways, to explain it briefly, Factor Unit is a special unit where they rank up or imprint will also enhance their skills. As for Fneo, she's a solid DPS where she can resurrect to the battle one time after dying. Decent AoE damage from her S3 and solid single target damage from her S2. So, after getting your starter team ready, try your luck on getting Fneo here. If you get her within 10 to 30 pulls, you might as well want to continue to reach the PT as the bare minimum to make Fneo works in PvP is to have her at rank 1. Here on you can continue on familiarizing yourself with the game mechanics by exploring it one by one. No hurry, no stress, just do it within your own pace. Last part will be your last decisive battle. In here we have two banners, Mega Armor Katy and Smoke Banner. So just like Factor Unit, Mega Armor Unit is also a special unit in this game, except their rank up didn't enhance their skills. Anyways, for the ideal move, you want to try your luck on MA Katy Banner. In here you are going to aim for the Red Up unit and another unit called Mega Armor Rela. Remember, the PT in this banner is at 200. The worst case scenario here is that you have to PT for either the Red Up or Emerella. And the best case scenario here is that you get them both within under 100 pool, so good luck. But if you are a waifu type of person, then just go for smoke, no question needed. With this, your endgame is pretty much secured, as they are able to prove their own usefulness on the battlefield. 